so the question here today is, is college worth it? And that's a very big question. So a lot of people spend a lot of time, and it's a very big decision on deciding whether or not to go to college. Uh, college has been around for a long time. College has been around for a long time, since 1636, when Harvard was first established, and it's often a source for debate among many people. Um, some people say that college isn't worth it because the tuition cost is too high, and also it's not needed to be successful. Uh, myself and others, however, agree that college is worth it because there's more job opportunities, a greater income, and the money that you're not earning while you're in college seems to not matter later in life. So first thing up here today is job opportunities. When you go to college, it leads to better jobs and lower unemployment rates for people who go to college. So Philip Trossel, he's a professor of economics at the University of Maine. He says in his article that the incidence of workers' compensation is 2.4 times lower. So if you go to college, you'll have a safer job and nobody wants to be injured like this guy here. You want to be healthy and live a safe life. Uh, the U U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, the uh, principal federal agency for um, analyzing labor economics and other s stats of working, they say that, they show on their graph here that bachelor's degree unemployment rate is just 2.8%. Now that's not a lot of people, maybe two or three out of every 100. And if you go to college, you're almost guaranteed a job. Income. The more income that you earn, the happier you'll be. And more money you'll have to buy things like a house or a car. Jason R. Abel and Richard Dietz, two men who hold prominent positions at the Federal Reserve Bank of New York, they say that on average, the people with bachelor's degrees earn about $64,500 a year. That's a lot of money. You can buy a lot of things with that, and you can live a very comfortable life. Now, people with associate's degrees, they still earn a lot, not as much as bachelor's degrees, but still 50000 per year. And while that might not be as much as a bachelor's degree, they're going to be working for two more years, and they'll still make enough money to be comfortable. Um, another key benefit of college is that the money that you earn over your career is made up when because you won't be earning any money while you're in college. So you can see the people in the blue here are people with college degrees, people in the red, people with high school diplomas. And while the high school diploma people might have a head start, the college degree people make it up over their life because of the more money that they earn. Abel and Dietz, um, they say that although college graduates start working later, they make over a million more than high school graduates in their lifetime. And that's a lot of money. It means all the student loans that you have and <coughs> the money that you're not making while you're going to be in a job, it doesn't seem to matter because you're going to be making that much more. Brad Hirschbein, he's an economist at, with a PhD in economics from the University of Michigan. And he says that for people with bachelor's degrees, they make almost 162% more than people with high school graduates. So they might not be working for a while, but they'll make a lot more. So a lot of people, however, say that you shouldn't do it. Don't go to college because the cost of tuition is too high. And on average, it's about 122000 for four years of college between tuition and other amenities like boarding and food. So however, most people say that you should do it. While college might be expensive, lifetime earnings, bachelor's degrees compared to high school diploma gra graduates, high people with bachelor's degrees make $625,000 more. Everyone agrees that there's benefits for college, like several ones that I listed so far. And college gives greater opportunities for the rest of your life. It can give you maybe a healthier life, it, and it'll so why go to college, right? Well, the more people that attend, the lower the unemployment rate will be, the more income that the average person will get. And also, if more people go to college and they see the great opportunities that you get from it, they'll tell their kids to go to college, and then more people will be going and be educated. So don't ignore the chance. Go to college. That's all the people that put stuff. Okay, question number one. <clears throat> How did you select the strategies you used to gather information or conduct research, and were they effective? Uh, so you, you gave us a couple articles to use in class, 
and we'd go over and highlight all the evidence in green, and then I'd write them all down and choose what the best ones I thought were to tell my argument. Number two, what advice would you have for other researchers who consider this topic? Um, say be careful who you're choosing information from because they might not be credible, they might not know what they're talking about, and also try to make sure that nothing contradicts it. So if you don't want to say that one person says maybe bachelor's degrees make 70000 a year and somebody else says that they make 60000 a year, 